Hello everyone. Today I'd like to go through a, a little project I've been working on over the last three months or so, which is a League of Legends analytics tool. It mostly just grabs League of Legends data using their API and then puts it in a format that's a little bit more easy to digest than what you can find elsewhere. Uh, one way to think about it is it's pretty much an op.gg that you locally manage and can have unlimited games stored in it. The big reason I'm doing this is because right now I only have access to a daily API privilege from Riot, which is first off extremely inconvenient, uh, difficult to work with uh, when I'm trying to work on this kind of in my free time whenever that kind of comes up. And also it doesn't really allow me to share this with beta testers to make sure I work out all the bugs. So I'm hoping that happens. I'm hoping that that goes through. I'm hoping they like what they see here, but I'm also hoping that you guys like what you see here because I think this is a pretty cool little project. So I just want to show this off. Um, off right away, you type in your summoner name. This works right now only for North American uh, summoners, but obviously this could be expanded to any region eventually. Click load summoner data and it loads all of the data. It either loads 20 games or it loads all the data since the last time you've loaded data. Now I've been loading data a lot. Uh, I've been using this quite extensively so you can see a lot of games here. But to begin with you only have 20 and it builds up over time. Again think a lot with like op.gg. And when you get new games it shows up like this and you just kind of click and you can see then the game data. When you click on an individual game uh, like this one you can then see all the stats. And one thing I like about this system is you can just click on any stat and immediately see the graphs. So you don't have to go over to a separate tab and see the graphs or anything like that. I just think it's a cleaner user interface. You guys can like or dislike it one way or another. It's just another option for what's normally provided. It also includes some special stats. So I have this stat called total damage absorbed, uh, which is just the summation of damage taken and self mitigated damage. So you can see the, uh, basically it's easier to see how much damage people are absorbing and taking on. You can also look at damage absorbed per life, which is the same as damage absorbed per death plus one, essentially, because you had one more lives than you had deaths. And the advantage here is you can look then, did they absorb a lot of damage because they died a lot, or just because they were really tanky or really successful at not dying and, and absorbing data and, and absorbing data, absorbing damage and being kind of this tank that you want them to be. Another stat I added to here was uh, damage to non-turrets. So you always had damage to objective, damage to turrets, but now you can also see damage to what you did to like Baron, Dragon, and like the Poro King, if you look at some of the special game modes. One of the more fun stats that gets hidden in the background that's not normally publicly available are these timeline data stats. Now this uh, data isn't available for every game, and uh, sometimes if like you start in the top lane but you really were the bot lane or like the jungler was hanging out somewhere there's some weird things that can sometimes happen as uh, League of Legends tries to guess where you are but it's actually really accurate most of the time and it's really fun data so the two things I like looking at is uh, how my creeps per minute works and uh, you know is it declining over time is it rising over time am I really good in the first 10 minutes but maybe not 10 to 20 uh, is it maybe when I start roaming that I start having problems or am I just not very good at lane? Am I someone who steals all the farm from the side lanes? Whatever that ends up being. I also get CS uh, per minute different differentials. So how am I doing against my opponent? So it's not just how much CS I'm getting, but am I denying them CS? Am I fighting a lot? Am I doing anything like that? Uh, so that's really fun. I can also look at uh, gold per minute generation and damage taken numbers. So you can see here's you know the big fight. This is where we fought a lot between 20 and 30 minutes. All the damages are really high. Um, early on, it's less. There's some really big damage numbers still there, but this is clearly the biggest number. So really fun page. And then there's also this comparison page. Now the comparison page was really designed based upon the metrics we see in League of Legends professional play. So you see things like kill participation or uh, damage to champions per minute. 
or you can look at like Ward's Place per minute, these numbers, gold per minute, right? These numbers that you see people advertise on a regular basis, but that you don't get through the normal riot means of statistical uh, calculations. In general, the, these percentages up top, these team comparison numbers, are kind of for intra-game. How did you perform in the game? You know, what's your percent of damage to champions for that game compared to everyone else? Whereas your per minute calculations gives you numbers uh, between games. So you can kind of say, how well did I play in this game? How well does this game compare with my other games? Am I improving? Am I getting worse? And that's really what this is all about. It's looking at how are you performing and how are you getting better. To help facilitate some of that, I have these awesome filters, and this is one of my favorite things with this. So I can look at, say, you know, what am I playing in ARAM? What am I playing in Ascension? Uh, I play Summoner's Rift Normal, so I can look at all my Summoner's Rift Normal games, and I can, for instance, sort just by, like, my bottom lane. Who am I playing in my bottom lane and looking at all those games? Um, I can even do it just by particular champions. So I recently just picked up Twitch, trying to learn him. And so I can look up all of my Twitch games and how well they performed. Uh, and then the other thing you can do with this that's really cool is you can look at this champion summary and you can see summation data. So when I look at champion summary here, this is all of my bottom lane champions. So I don't have a huge champion pool right now and I'm working to expand it. And I can see where maybe I've, I've found success with some champions and where I've really struggled, uh, particularly as of late. So my most played champion in the bottom lane is Ezreal. Done all right there, you know, 50% win rate. Uh, when I've done Zig's AD carry, I've done very well there, and actually my new pickup with Twitch looks pretty good. But there's been some falling out with, say, uh, Tristana, Morgana, and Braum. So my supporting is indeed very severely lacking. One thing I like about this is I can start looking at how play styles have differed. For instance, you know, with Twitch, I'm much more aggressive. I have much bigger kills, assist numbers, and deaths than I do, say, with my Ezreal play. I can also see, too, that my Morgana is a lot more aggressive. I have pretty good kill participation with her, but a tremendous volume of deaths. So I really need to look at going to be a little bit more passive with her and not be so aggressive. The same thing, the opposite thing can be said with my Braum. I'm not getting much kill participation but I'm not dying quite so much. Now some of that is the game length. I play very long Morgana games, but I think there are other factors that go into that. I can also look at my 20 minute CS differential. So I can see if I look back at Twitch, you know, I've actually been doing fairly well keeping up with CS as Twitch. So that's a really big positive, even better than I've been doing with Ezreal, who has my highest win rate essentially. And then of course my Ziggs, uh, which is my best champion uh, has been doing reasonably well when I play him as AD carry. So that's pretty much the design of the program. One other thing I want to show you quick is uh, where all the data is stored because it's all local data. And so this is where it is. Um, right now this is the horrible file path for where I actually am storing everything. But you can look at all of the images that come in, all the items, some of these scoreboard icons that exist, and all these summoner spells and stuff. Uh, you can also look up, this is all the champion data, item data, things like that, like their names, the icon identification and stuff. Um, and then every match that gets loaded gets stored right here. So you can see I've loaded 810 matches between all the different players I've looked up and all the different testing I've done. So that is pretty much how all of that works and that is that is pretty much this system overall i hope you enjoyed checking it out and maybe one of these days i will be able to release something like this to the public and you'll be able to enjoy it as well thank you